Hi, I'm Brian Ireson. I'm one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. Today's tutorial, we're going to be covering how you can apply styles inside of a Word document without really changing the look and feel of that document, but be able to take full advantage of styled content. So that's going to happen with the aid of this great little tool which if you look on the home tab in the editing group you will notice there's a select button with a drop down and if you use this there's this amazing one in here called select all text with similar formatting and that's the way that we're going to be able to select that text that has been made to look a certain way without actually using a style and then turn that into the style so to begin with we're going to go ahead and select take a look at this document and I'm going to zoom way out on this. In fact, I'm going to go to this view tab. I'm going to look at the zoom group of controls and I'm going to find the multi page button. And you can see now I can see two pages. So I have some text that's taller and you know heavier. This is Cambria. It's 24 points. Here I have Cambria that's 18 points. Here I have open size that's 10.5 points in size. So I have different styles here and if we look through you can see we're going to encounter several instances of that. So to begin with I'm going to select the single first word by just double clicking on it. So with that word selected now I'm going to come back to the home tab all the way over on the right end of this tab to find the editing group. Click on the select button, get my drop down and choose that select text with similar formatting. And you're going to see any place in this document that shares that formatting is now actively selected. Now I could come up into my styles and click on the heading one to apply that style but I don't want to change the look of this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the heading one style and I'm going to choose to update this to match this selection. Now you might worry that this is going to change how Word will style your new documents. We're doing this for this document only. We are not going in and modifying it. All right? If we went into the modify window we could check the new documents based on this template to make that a permanent change. But by not doing this, we're just going to make this change happen in this file one time. So now I can see I've got my heading ones applied. In fact, if we were to do a control F or you could go to view and in the show group bring up the navigation pane. That's the same thing as doing control F. Now if I look you can see we have three headings in the headings list. Now if I'm going to select a piece of text here that looks like a heading 2, I'm going to go back to the home tab. I'm going to go back to the select text with similar formatting. Now I have all of those pieces which I can go ahead and right click on my heading 2 and choose to update this. And now you can see we've got a real structure happening within the navigation. This would allow me to take a much larger document and be able to take advantage of the style tools that are available such as let's come to the first page come to the beginning of the document so I can click on this or I can click on any of these to navigate through the multiple pages of the document clicking on the first page. I'm going to come up to my insert tab and I'm going to put in a new blank page. So you can see I've now got a new blank page, there's nothing on this and I'm going to jump to my references tab where I can go to the very first button for the table of contents and then I can choose one of my pre-built sets here. So I'm just going to use automatic table 2 and it's going to create the table of contents giving me the pages all as hyperlinks based on the structure established by the use of the styles within the document. 
Anyhow, well, I hope that that will help you uh, get your work done a little quicker, a little bit less struggle in the way. If you like what you learned, please go ahead and sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do put out videos every week, so you never know what you're going to find. Until then, I hope you have a grand time.